For some men of God, it seems investments and insurance schemes are a few sustainable ventures. Quite recently, leader of the ZCC was in the spotlight for some money racketeering on the congregation of arguably the largest religious gathering in Southern Africa, allegedly by leaders of the church. As if the impending court cases were not enough, leader of the Rivers of Living Waters Ministry, Archbishop Stephen Bafana Zondo, is in the news again for all the wrong reasons. A former secretary of the Archbishop has exposed what seems another scam to take advantage of members of the church with a non-existing insurance company. Uh, which was the River's Life, which is a funeral cover that supposedly belongs to the church. And what I discovered, it was unregistered. And then I asked questions with you, you know, when you're taking on an insurance with whoever, a funeral undertaker, whatever, they reinsure you with a reinsurer at another company. So River's Life, the underwriters uh, had to have a license. And then uh, that license would tell or yes, they are a financial services provider accredited with the FSB board and all that. But when I check the licensing number, Doesn't. it exists, but it exists through a different company, which is based in Cape Town and not Rivers of Living Waters and not Spoko Resources, the company that was used. People back on Rivers uh, would know because this is how it was sold to them. Which Spoko Resources is in, in partnership with the Rivers will are forming in Rivers Life and this money that was taken out of the church to buy the shares into Spoko Resources. So when the money that was taken to buy those shares and then the licensing deal did not go through, the money did not come back uh, to the church. So I questioned that. Gosana Zondo, the son to Ubafana Zondo, said to me, good luck in finding the document. You will never find it. And I said, okay, until I find the document, there is no way we can continue selling because I needed to understand how much revenue is being made from selling the policies and the claims because that's where the money comes in, in the claims. And I couldn't get that. And when I probed, that's when we were told, okay, the license did not get approved with SCOCO, so they can't sell the policy. There were people complaining that they were not getting payouts when they were claiming they were not. Uh, it's a scam. There were double debits and all those things. So I screenshotted those and I sent to Uzondo Buti. This thing is going to give the church a bad name. And we don't even have an agreement with the service provider. And the service provider, Skoko, did not even have a license. So we can't continue with this thing. She says, strangely, the non-existent company is still operating in South Africa. It is still there. People are still paying. It's not registered and there is no licensing for short-term insurance. So in Pretoria, I stopped it and they said they, there is not going to be any announcement made for people to join this uh, in, uh, uh, funeral cover because it does not exist. But it's still done uh, on the side by a lady, uh, Mabule uh, Mugwe. She's still selling it because for whatever reason, they're getting 20 rands for every person they sign up, something like that. But in essence, there is nothing like that. So it's just taking money from people. Surprisingly, she said it was not only the financial insurance scheme, but also other ways of exploiting the congregants. The second one was in Tetanopi shop. You people had to change their SIM cards and get a Celsius SIM card then. Mm -hmm. And then the money, uh, and then on every day they were uh, uh, getting five friends uh, deducted from their airtime mm -hmm. so that they can get an, an automated message from the bishop. It's supposed to be every daily message is from the bishop, mm -hmm. but taking five friends from you. Again, at the time, uh, probably an SMS was not even 80 cents. Mm -hmm. So I asked the five friends, how much is the church getting from the whole thing? And then I was only told that uh, the money is, it's a small fraction. The money goes into Gosana's account, the son. I said, he said, and in Gosana's words, he says, it's negligible. I'm like, okay, what is so little that you can't give it to me? Just give me the figure and say, how much is coming in, is getting into your account that we're encouraging people 